Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about how you can use Evitas with EVT web requests. First, let's take a look at how we normally do it with Coroutine. First, we're gonna use the emulator and let's go with send request. We're gonna initialize a web request object and we're gonna pass the URL. Then, after we you return the web request, if we don't find any errors, we can lock the resource out. And for testing method, I'm gonna use the URL from request response, which is a very popular page that you can use to test your API. They provide us many useful methods and API endpoints, which help you to test your API more productive. So let's get started. Back to Unity, let's start the editor. You can see that it gives us back the response, which is the bunch of text in the JSON format. Now, let's take a look at how we can do it in the Unitas way. In Unitas, you can just initialize an EVT web request as you did in the Coroutine approach, but is already provide us with the extension method cancellation where you can pass the cancellation token always remember to pass the cancellation token in here i pass the utility method that is already provided by utas which is this gets cancellation token on destroy so you don't have to do it very similar very similar way and remember to put the async keyword at the start method and after we finish awaiting the web request we can load the resource by using op stand for operation like yeah like web request asynchronously operation here and we're gonna pass download handler and the tag now let's see how this work in, in the editor you can see that it gives us the same resource as before The first benefit that I want to show you guys is the syntax is quite elegant compared to the coroutine because the logic is different. By using a scene await approach, we await for the web request to complete and then we log out the resource. You can also making a common method just like that. We're gonna Right, in task that have the generate type string and we're gonna call it get web request here and we're gonna pass the URL and the cancellation token. Pass the parameter. We're gonna use a sync keyword here. In here, what we have to do is await same as before, and instead of literal string, we're gonna pass the URL and we're gonna pass the token. As you can see in here, is missing the return assessment in this case because we have the generate type in tag is string we can pass we can return the resource there you go and now i can just command this and we're gonna initialize an result tag equal get web request and we want to pass the URL as long as the cancellation token. And we're going to pass the await keyword here. Always remember. Then we're going to lock the result out of the console log. Then 
Let's check it in energy. There we go. It's pretty much the same meshes because it has the same logic as before. The only difference is now we refer to it to another method, which we can pass the URL and the token as we wish to do by using web request with unit task. You can also set the timer to your request. Let's see the documentation of the unit task. In the timer handling section, you can initialize a cancellation token source. Then you're gonna pass cancel the slim. And let's see, we set the timer for five seconds, which means after five seconds, if we don't get any response from the request, you can just continue the logic of your app instead of your app getting freeze and the user don't have any response. This will increase the responsiveness of your application. This timeout is really helpful because sometimes when you're calling a web service and the status of that web service is unstable and sometimes the server is down and you can control it. So instead of letting your app get freeze because you don't have any response, you can just replace an error message, for example, an available server or something like that. And it's really helpful because the user can try it another time or they can experiment another service of your app. To demonstrate how we can test this method, I already set up a slow API, which I get from Flash, which is a test service to mop a slow server response. I already downloaded your source code. You can get the link as a description and test it yourselves. In here, I have the endpoints of localhost 3000, which is the port and I'm going to delay for a second and you can pass a second as you want for example in here I could pass like five seconds and let's hit enter as you can see it's wait for five seconds before give it back the respond now let's see how we can do that in Unitas In here, let's create a function, call it get web request timeout. Let's just copy the sample codes from the event has documentation. We're gonna import the missing references. And now, instead of the URL, which is HTTP, we're gonna pass the delay time of five seconds, which is this URL. In here, I can just change the timeout from five seconds to three seconds. Let's see the results. I'm gonna copy this. and I will pass here. If this code is correct, we are gonna get the results of timeout being printed to our console log. In ELD, let's hit play. In ELD, let's hit play. As you can see, after three seconds, if it didn't get any response from the server, it's gonna print out the timeout message. So instead of let your application hang, because you already call a web service, which for example could be the leaderboard service or the statistics service, and somehow you don't get any response back, you can just display the error message to your user, and then trust them to retry this service in another time that is the end of my video if you enjoy watching it please like and subscribe thank you for watching